Uh, hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I really had a bad weekend, you know, uh, when I realized that my oldest goldfish, Mr. Mong, he was suffering from a swim bladder disease and there was a time that he literally stopped swimming. I was like very much scared uh, because this swim bladder disease, it could lead to death of a fish. But if it happens with you all, guys, you do not have to panic about it. A uh, few treatments you need to follow. Uh, firstly, use the same aquarium water, add some Epsom salt on it and acclimate the fish for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is a bacterial infection caused due to overstocking bad poor water quality or overfeeding guys this impacts their kidney and due to improper kidney functioning they accumulate water in their stomach resulting uh, it swells their belly or stomach so after accumulating the fish for about 15 minutes in the epsom salt i have uh, transferred him back to the doctor tank where where rest of his treatment will take place and usually I used to suggest most of my friends that if you want to feed the fish guys you can feed them but do not overfeed them if you cut the diet approximately like third one third that's fine but do not overfeed especially with goldfish they're born with this kind of spring bladders or dropsy and if you have identified any of your fish, right, they're not able to swim or swollen bellies. So if you treat them right on time, they will be saved. But if you have, if you have not noticed this kind of disease, right, maximum within 10 to 15 days, your pet fish may want to die. And guys, make sure to reduce the water level and add a heater, uh, water level because they are already not able to swim correct so that's the reason i would recommend you to reduce the water level so it will not be stressful for them and while treating them if you have a api uh general cure at please do add that that's one of my favorite uh medicines right whenever if i'm trying to treat my fishes i add them and especially for swim bladder it will really help this uh, now you can see guys, uh, there's a lot of improvement uh, with Mr. Mong and during this time I only feed them green peas, broccoli, boiled broccoli or flakes and this is the only food which I give them uh, during this kind of swim bladder disease and still guys you need to keep them under observation and during this period uh, make sure to change the water every once or twice in a day because during medication i do not use any kind of filters make sure the water is clean and there is no nitrate in the water and even here you can see guys i have increased the water level you can see a lot of improvement and i'm happy with that and slowly i'll be increasing the water level more higher and higher and hopefully by saturday or sunday uh once it's all able to swim properly with confidence i'm gonna transfer him back uh with the others as well so that's it guys uh that's all for today if i've missed out something do comment below i'll be there to help you and guys if you're watching my video for the first time please please go ahead and like and subscribe uh, it will truly mean a world to me you know just by clicking one button and stay tuned for future updates right uh, i will be uploading many more videos regarding fish so till then take care bye have a great day guys